so hey guys this is the another video tutorial of windows system programming and in this video tutorial we are going to see how to find and search a files and directory so we know that for searching a directory or files we require some function or command and first we have to specify the location of that directory or files and then we have to perform the searching deleting or any other operation for that operation we are going with the help of the some wildcard characters so if you see the wildcard characters is a special symbol that stands for one or more characters so in dos or windows the first wildcard characters is asterisk so it tells about the combination of letter see that that means suppose if you are writing like asterisk dot cpp that means it search all dot cpp combination files in that directory or in that volume second wildcard character is the question mark wildcard characters matches a only single character so what will happen suppose if you are writing that command del question mark dot doc so sometimes in generally we are saving our uh, Microsoft Word or any text file with the single characters like uh, x dot doc y dot doc or any other extension of that file so it will delete that whatever the file in your system is stored with only single characters if you have specified the file name with the single characters it will delete that file and other files like if you are writing xyz dot doc format xy dot doc that means any name and dot doc it that file will be safe but if you are saving your file like a dot doc that file will be deleted so that is a very small program in that program we are going to use the four function basically find first file find next file find close file and get full path name for code and notes you can check my blog evinsispro.com first api is find first file find first file it search a directory or file or subdirectory so basically it will take the two argument here first we have to specify the file name file name means if you are writing in this format so it will search that file only and second argument is the data structure that is the data structure win32 find data structure it contains all the information related to the file what is the creation time of that file what is the access times last write time size low and many things it is store that one so we have to specify that uh, structure in that function the second api is the find next file what happened it continue a file search from a previous call we'll see that difference during the programming and the third function is the find close function it closes a file search handle opened by that that functions and we have to pass here the handle of the find file that that handle we have to pass here and the fourth one is the it's printing the full path that function get full path name it will print the full path of that location and this one is the my blog so if you see the programming here i have already created the data structure find win32 underscore find underscore data that is the data structure which hold the information about your files and there is a handle of that one so first i have to use the find first file function first argument is the file name so file name we have to write in this format lpc wstr that stand is long pointer to constant wide character string so let's say file and i'm writing in this format So first we have to specify the file name so i'm writing here file and pointer of that data structure now 
the return type of that function is the function succeed the return value is search handle if this function fails then it returns invalid handle value so invalid handle value and else case i am writing here file found and then we have to print the file name so remember that here i am using the white character so that's why i am using here wc out the file name so we have to access that structure find file data so find file data and the file name and the file size if you want to print more information about that file then you can access this structure member so i'm accessing n file size so this parameter tells about the file size so just build started and run this program so here it will tell about the file name so my file name is 59 find file dot cpp and file size is 744 in the kb only so what will happen if you not write here wc out if you write here c out then it will print the file name in the hex format so that's why i am using here the wc out so that means it is searching only in the current directory in this directory i have created so many files here the image file docx file cpp file and text file also so suppose i have to search file in this directory so we have to copy this path we have to specify here that your path so it will search in that directory what ever the file with the extension of dot cpp it will list it will not list here the problem is here there are two dot cpp files so whatever the first file it find with dot cpp extension it will print that one later we, we will see how to list all this file dot cpp or dot txt or dot png file so just save and run this program see first file encounter with hello world dot cpp in this directory if you see here the hello world dot cpp first file is the hello world dot cpp second file is hello world sample dot cpp if you see the file size here the zero kb just i have created the empty file so that is the difference of find first file it will search only the first file encounter with that extension only it will print that suppose we have to list all dot cpp extension file so we have to use the find next file it will search that file in that location and then it will list so what i'm doing here i'm using one while loop because that function basically it search so directly i'm writing here find next file function so the first argument is the handle of that file so find first file handle we have to pass and then here we have to pass the structure and return type is the boolean type so first we have to specify the handle so handle is h find file and then pointer of data structure and then if if file found then what we have to do we have to print the file name so directly i'm copying this line here and then we have to close the search operations so we have to use find close function and we have to pass the handle of so just compile this code now run this program see here it printed all the hello world cpp hello dot cpp so that is the advantage of that function file next file suppose we have to display all 
files then just change here and put here statics so build this see here it printed all this file stored in that directory now the second thing is that if you want to list down all the directory so first you have to specify the volume like here the C and then you have to type only a star statics so it will print all this directory so in my system there is a only one only C volume is there so you can try try that and if you want to print the get full path name so you have to specify that function first you have to pass the file name buffer length buffer name so this example is already there here you can check that so this was the basic program of how to find and search a file and directory hope you like this video thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe this channel